Women's health doctors can now do more procedures in the office, but oftentimes because of the sedation involved, patients need a ride home. And some need a ride to the procedure because they take medication for anxiety beforehand. But a local doctor has figured out a way for men to come and go on their own and still be pain free. Medical reporter Meg Ferris explains. Gary Hemel was having a problem very common to older men. You can't sleep through the night. You, you get up, you know, three and four times. His benign and large prostate was causing urination problems. Then he saw a quick, easy office procedure on medical watch that could fix it. So he turned to urologist Dr. Neil Baum for the Eurolift. But for Gary, the procedure was easier because there would be no needles in the sensitive male area for local anesthesia or long-lasting IV sedation. It is absolutely remarkable, you know, how they can get through these procedures without any pain. It started when Dr. Baum went to the dentist for a procedure and had something dentists have been using since 1844, nitrous oxide or laughing gas. And he thought he could use that too for vasectomies, prostate, bladder, and skin procedures. It reduces anxiety, it reduces pain and discomfort, and it provides light sedation. The beauty is that once the gas is turned off, 30 seconds later, the patient sits up, stands up, and walks out of the office. Dr. Baum checked with the State Board of Medical Examiners about using the gas for anesthesia. He says it's safe, and in 150 patients, there have been no side effects. Patients can respond to commands and are still getting the same amount of oxygen as normal breathing. Gary remembers nothing about his procedure. When he turned it on and I just uh, didn't, didn't feel a thing after that. This is a game changer. There are going to be offices now all over the community and region that are going to be doing this. Now this is also good for people who have had addiction illness and can't have narcotics. The only patients who can't use nitrous oxide are people with COPD, those who have had recent cataract surgery, or pregnant women in the first trimester. Now, insurance does pay for those procedures, but not the laughing gas. But Dr. Baum says the cost is very minimal.